My exams will be taking place very soon and I need to begin revising. So what better way to procrastinate revising than by making a program to help me revise? The idea was inspired by a program called Anki, which uses a spaced repetition system to optimize the effectiveness of revision sessions. This means that every time a question is answered incorrectly, the question comes back in a minute. If it is answered correctly, it comes back in a day, a week, a month, and so on. I began by making a complicated MVP for the software, and then set up the Electron project. Boy, have I missed Electron. Why is my F undefined? Ah, uh, is it really because of that? I think I may have done my preload wrong. I think that might just be the issue. All right, we don't even need this. <laughs> I was wasted my time. That's cool. Now I get that um, this is not secure, but the thing is, the user would only be able to hack themselves. They wouldn't be able to get hacked, so it's not really a problem. After getting unnecessarily confused with getting modules to work, I began to work on the menu. The plan was to have a form to create flashcards and a button to start revision sessions. All right, cool. We, in theory, should be able to already create cards now if I haven't messed things up too severely, which it looks like I have. All right, so that won't work. Create. Okay, there's no save dot JSON. Why is that? Oh, that's easy fix. Let's put input wrong. Love JavaScript. Love this language. Okay, we have our data. That's a good start. Now we should like make it look nice because it's kind of ugly at the moment. We're going to use everyone's favorite fun. I actually hate that you have to do this. It's so irritating. This is so fun. Love it so much. But sometimes I realize this font is terrible for what we're using it for. It's not great, but it's better. Cool. I had lots of fun styling the menu and then began to work on a fancy function to show alerts. We're, good. we're feeling fancy. We're going to have like a uh, an alert. That would be cool. Now I needed to like slide it and we'll say like five seconds. That's good. The timer isn't firing, interestingly. Why is it just a simple thing not working? I don't understand. Oh wait, you know why? Because it's importing this for some reason. Why did it take me so long to notice that? Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> Love wasting my time. Okay, that's what we wanted to do. Next, it was time to work on revision sessions. The idea was that the program would load a random question if it had not recently been shown, then allowing the user to show the answer and specify if it was correct or not. Have a session. Do you want to create a card now? So, so show answer. And then we get it. Okay, awesome. So show answer, correct. Show answer, incorrect. Time for my favorite JavaScript feature, dates. I of course needed to calculate the time until the question could be shown again, which depended on whether the question was answered correctly or not, and how many times it had already been answered correctly. Oh, so now what we want to do is play with time, because time is really fun to deal with in JavaScript. Oh dear. They're even dissing dates in Stack Overflow. <laughs> okay, so we can figure out if a card's date is passed, hopefully. We just need to figure out how to set a card's date now. The only thing is saving that in JSON. I don't even know if that's possible. Prioritized cards. So this will show any cards that are due to be shown. See, I know how this is going to work, is whether the dates are going to work in my favor, and it's going to be a massive pain to debug if they don't. So, so hopefully this won't be too hard, because I know there's going to be bugs. I just don't know what they are. Cool. Start session. Show answer. Incorrect. So can show at is still null. Unexpected reserved word. What? Ah, it's doing it in days. What if we just do that? Okay. Now we wait a minute. Okay, it works. That means that we've finished this way faster than I thought I was going to finish this, to be honest. Um, that's great. Okay. I did run into some issues with dates, but I fixed them a lot faster than I thought I would. I decided to showcase the program to one of the members of my Discord server, who was using Anki to learn Japanese. Oh, it's finished. Okay. Oh, the, uh, the Electron installing? Yeah, that's normal. For some reason, it takes for ages. For ages? Forever. <laughs> Oh, it full screens. I have not seen many SRS software full screen. Yeah, the simple explanation for that is I couldn't be bothered to make it responsive, so. Let's create a card. When was the Battle of Hastings? Considering I've just done some history. <laughs> card created. Oh, nice. Let's start the session. When was the Battle of Hastings? Show answer. Correct or incorrect? This is correct. No more cards back, come back later. Oh, but there's no way to get off the screen. Yeah, I forgot to add the back button. <laughs> You're gonna have to restart the app, but it, it will still save. If I start the session again, no cards back. Okay, so the timing systems work, I guess. Okay, I guess I'll wait a minute. Oh, yeah, the questions are back. If I correct all of them, no more cards left, come back later. I mean, I'm not touching dates again, just to be clear. <laughs> You, did you have some issues? I inevitably did have some issues, but I actually solved them 
quicker than I thought I would. Still, this was actually very... How long did this take you again? Uh, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, and you have a functional space repetition system. That is quite impressive, actually. Thank you. It seemed that I had done a good job this time around, which is unusual for me. Things seemed to go unusually smoothly this time. Guess I got lucky. And if you'd like your development process to be just as smooth as this one, Brilliant can give you a hand. The best way to learn anything is by doing it yourself. Learn interactively with Brilliant's fun hands-on lessons in math, science, and computer science. Interactive learning helps you learn six times more effectively than watching lecture videos. Brilliant has a great algorithm fundamentals course that I've been using to boost my problem-solving skills and ability to write well-thought-out algorithms. I found the course super easy to follow and very visually stimulating. Brilliant also has a variety of other computer science and maths courses that you can use to improve your programming skills. Join the millions of people already learning on Brilliant with a special offer just for listeners. Head to brilliant.org slash Kineticus to get started for free with Brilliant's interactive lessons. The first 200 visitors will also get 20% off an annual membership. If you enjoyed watching me procrastinate, be sure to like and subscribe.